Okay, so you can see here I've got my lofted flange and I want to be able to create a flat pattern of this but because it's all made in one piece it actually won't flatten it, it will just look at one of the faces here. So instead what we've got to do is we've got to come across to here, the rip tool. And we're going to choose rip and we're going to choose a face and then a point along the bottom there. And can you see it gives us a rip line. Uh, we can choose to adjust the gap size if you wanted to make it smaller or bigger say 0.1 whatever and we can hit apply and that's going to actually rip our part here now if we go to the flat pattern you'll see we get a lot different result we get the whole thing folded down okay which is good however if we take a quick measurement from say here to here you'll see that this is at 3 meters 257 so it's actually quite a large piece and probably bigger than what we'd actually sort of manufacture it in fact we'd probably do it in four separate pieces okay so rather than actually modeling it in four separate pieces because bearing in mind we want to make things parametric so we can just change a couple of parameters and it all updates and changes instead what we can do is add a few more rips so we're going to choose this face over here and we're going to choose this midpoint here and then we're going to choose this face here and we're going to rip it there and then lastly we're going to do one here and rip it about that point there like so okay this time you'll see when we go and create the flat pattern it will only give me one of the segments rather than the whole thing which is really pretty useful from there we can right click on that export face to dxf and send it out for laser cutting or whatever Brilliant. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.